Welcome to section 21.2a. Okay, gentle people, let's talk about the next class of organic compounds. And these are going to be alkenes and alkynes. Alkenes and alkynes are what we consider an unsaturated hydrocarbon. And so again, hydrocarbon means that it's made out of only hydrogens and carbons, but the unsaturated part means that it contains either a double or triple bond. Now, once I put a double or triple bond, this is gonna be the most important part to my molecule, and that's why I classify these molecules separately from alkanes. Now, something with a double bond is gonna be considered an alkene, and something with a triple bond is gonna be something called an alkyne. Now, when we had an alkane, that means I had four single bonds to my carbon. And so this was hybridized as sp3. So I want you guys to remember your hybridization from chapter 14, because you will see a lot of that being used in organic chemistry. So for our double bond, we see that this is steric number three. So this is sp2 hybridized. In our triple bond, we see that this is steric number two, so this is sp hybridized, and I'm talking about the carbon when I'm talking about these hybridizations. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about naming alkenes and alkynes. So what we need to do is determine the parent complex. Now the parent complex is always gonna be the one with the double bond inside it. And what I need to do is find the longest chain that contains the double bond. So in this one, all my carbons are in a line. So there's four carbons. So I'm going to use the prefix but. And because it is a double bond, it is an alkene. And to denote that it is an alkene, I will use the suffix ene. -E. So this is going to be butene as my parent complex. Now, this molecule right here, what you guys will see is this is the longest chain of carbons. However, it does not contain my double bond. And so this is why it becomes important. I need to find the longest chain with the double bond. And what you will see, that is five carbons long. And so this becomes pentene. If your molecule contains a triple bond, the parent complex is going to have the suffix y-n-e to denote that it is an alkyne. Once we've established the parent molecule, we have to number our compounds. And so for our first point of difference, what we have to remember is the double bond gets priority. So I want to make sure that my double bond is labeled with the lowest number possible. So for example, in this top molecule here, I could have numbered it 4, 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3, and 4. In this way, you'll see my double bond appears on carbon 1, on the other numbering, carbon 4. So I'm going to stick to this numbering scheme that I've shown you guys right here. You are only going to tell me the first carbon in the double bond, so this becomes 1-butene. Note if I have this complex, the double bond is between the second and third carbon. So this would have been named 2-butene. So once you've established the parent name and appropriately labeled where the double bond is, then you can go ahead and put the substituents in front. So in this case, my substituent is two carbons long. It appears on the second carbon. So 2-ethyl-1-pentene. If there are multiple double bonds present, you can put di, tri, and tetra directly in front of the ene -E suffix. Again, you have to indicate where each one of those double bonds appear and make sure you label it with the lowest numbers possible. Also, remember, you only have to label the first carbon in the double bond, you don't have to label both carbons in the double bond. So gentle people, why don't you take a look at this quiz question and see if you can name this compound. 
Okay, gentle people, the first thing we're going to realize is that this compound has double bonds and they take priority. So I want the chain with both double bonds, the longest one that contains that. And that's going to be this chain right here. So this chain is one, two, three, four, five carbons long. So my parent complex is going to be penta di for the two double bonds and ene because this is an alkene. Now I have to go ahead and number this chain. Now if I start here, my first double bond gets labeled as one. If I were to number it the other way, one, two. So I'm going to start labeling this bottom to top because of the first point of difference. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I see that my double bonds are on carbons one and two, and then three and four. So this becomes one, three pentadiene. Now let's take a look at my substituents. I got two carbons here two carbons here, and a single carbon here. So the two carbons, well, those are my ethyl substituents, and since there's two of them, it's going to be diethyl. They appear on carbons two and three. Now, my other substituent is only one carbon, so that's gonna be my methyl substituent, and that appears on carbon number four. So again, let's go ahead and string this together. Here's my parent, and I'm going to alphabetize my other substituents, putting them in front. This leads me to 2,3-diethyl-4-methyl-1,3-pentadiene. I hope that made sense, Chem1C, and remember to stay safe.